Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to the Hydromax Spa Pump Rebuild. This spa pump came out of a Dimension One spa, and we're showing you today in this video how to replace the bearings, okay? We showed you in the earlier steps how to remove the wet end, the impeller, the seal, the good stuff like that. Then we remove the end bells, we remove the armature, and now we also remove the front bearing and the rear bearing. We gave you a close-up and a far-away shot of how to remove both those bearings, and we also explained the use of the bearing pullers to you. Okay, so now in this step, uh, we're going to be showing you how to install the bearings uh, effectively without spending a million bucks on a press and how to just get the job done. You know what I mean? Like they say, get it done. I think that's actually copyrighted by those... Uh, those dudes that do the comedy. I forgot the name. Oh, God. Larry the Cable Guy, right? That's the guy. Yeah. Larry the Cable Guy. Get it on. So, Larry, if you got a pool, man, give me a call. I'll help you with the pool. But you got a good stuff. All right. Anyway, forget about Larry the Cable Guy. No, I mean, don't forget about him because, like, Larry, you're cool. But let's get back to the pump. All right. So, anyway, what we're going to do now is to show you. Here's your armature. Okay. I've already taken a bearing out of the box. Okay. That's how it got there. It wasn't magic. And I'm not trying to, like, make it look easy. I just took the bearing out of the box. Okay, so here's the bearing now. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna just, the bearing came off that shaft. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the bearing and I'm going to slide it right onto the armature like that. And I'm going to try to make it as even as possible, okay? See, that is almost balanced, right? I'll let you take a look at that. Well, now it moved, right? Okay, but it's going to be even as possible. Now, this is just a regular three-quarter black pipe nipple that you could find in any hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, place like that, True Value, you know, Betsy's, whatever. I'm not promoting anybody, but you know the deal. There's places all over the place. Okay, so if I missed you, check out your local guy. I'm not trying to say go to the big corporations. Just go wherever you can go and support your local guy, but just get a pipe nipple. Three-quarter black IPS pipe nipple, okay? So you go to the hardware store. Once again, if you got a pen and pad, I'll wait for a second. Okay, three-quarter black IPS pipe nipple. That will slide right on top of the shaft just like that. Now, what that does, let me show you real quick, is that this outer ring here will match with the inner race okay of the bearing okay so this is the outer race this outer metal is called the outer race and the inside is called the inner race and this pipe will match up with the inner race that way the bearing will get pressed onto the shaft right because if you try to push the bearing on by the outer race like say you had a bigger pipe and you press it on the outside that would kind of like push the outside inside out and then basically it, would, it could mess up the bearings you know so here what we're going to do is just put it on like this okay and then we'll put the pipe on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to tap it with a hammer just like that, you see that? And now the bearing starts getting pressed on. See that? It's getting starting to get on. So what we're gonna do now is have my cameraman move forward and we're gonna show you up close how to, how to install the bearing. I'm gonna press it on the rest of the way using the hammer, uh, bang with banging it with the pipe, and then I'm gonna put the rear bearing on. And then once we get the, both the bearings on, we're gonna start, I'm gonna throw this bad boy back together. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. See you next video. Remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com, the complete kit. See you later.